Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Generation 2 laptop? Is it a good laptop for programming? Is it a good laptop for gaming? Is it a good laptop for businesses? Join me, ladies and gentlemen, as I unbox and review this Lenovo E14 Generation 2 laptop ThinkPad. And uh, I'm going to be focusing on unboxing the laptop and then reviewing it to see how we can be uh, able to answer the questions of whether it is good for programming, whether it is good for gaming, whether it is good for businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we unbox and review this laptop as we answer all those questions, all the diversity, solutions to excellency. We are here with you. Stick up. Don't go away. So I'm, I'm opening up the box. I'm opening it up to see what is inside here. So it's... Uh, there is this in the box. There is this. Then there is the laptop itself. And uh, let's see what we have here. We have a power cable. And then we have uh, the adapter itself. So this is uh, this is what we have. It's a Type C. It's a Type C charger, or rather adapter. And uh, so let's first see how the laptop looks like. This is how the laptop looks like. This is how it looks. If I may bring it closer, this is how it looks. It's uh, it's weighing 1.5 kilograms of size, and uh, it's quite a slim one, if I may say. This is how the laptop looks like before opening it up, and it's weighing uh, 1.59 kilograms almost uh, two kilograms but it's uh, light a bit and uh, it's not all that heavy it's a bit slick and uh, if i'm to show you the parts that are it's entailed if i may bring it closer to you so here is where we have the power charging port which is uh, a power in slot and uh, it's a type c power in slot which is a thunderbolt 4 technology support and then uh, next to it, we have the USB 3.2 Generation 1 charging slot, and uh, it's a Type A. This one is always on at any time, whether the laptop is switched off or on, this slot is always active. So you can always put your charger in case you want to charge your phone or any other device on your machine, it's always on. Then moving on, we have this uh, other slot, which is the HDMI 1.4 for connecting other external display. And uh, maybe, for example, if you want to connect your HDMI projector, you can always connect them here. And uh, still moving on, the next we have the audio in and uh, audio out, which is the headphone and uh, microphone combo slot. So this one is for specifically sound in and sound out, where we have the headset or headphones and or stroke the microphone. So you can always use that port to connect through to get sound in and sound out via microphone. So if I may rotate it to show you exactly what is entailed at the other side. This side there is no connection slot and also the front side there is no connection slot. So moving on to this other side, if I may still bring it closer, here we have uh, this one here which is the Kingston lock slot which is specifically for security and then next we have the rg 44 so 45 connection slot which is responsible for internet working or rather connecting the network cables then next we have here if i may show you we have here the usb slot which is a usb 2.1 sorry 2.0 generation one type a connection slot so that is how the appearance is for this laptop it's only the sides and the sides. Here there is no connection slot and here there is no connection slot. Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Generation 2 
laptop. Let's keep moving together. So if I may open to show you exactly what is inside, uh, how rather how it looks when you open it up. This is how it looks. So if I open it up here, here, for example, at the top here, 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 here. It has an infrared camera, which is uh, having a think shutter, which is used for covering the camera. It supports a think shutter technology for closing and opening the camera. And uh, it's a security feature that you, sh you should uh, know about. Then uh, it has uh, here, at this point, it has a smart power on, if I may show you. It has a, a smart power on power button, which is integrated with FP fingerprint technology, which can be always used to power on the laptop. Then also it has a keyboard. Sometimes it's embedded with a keyboard, which is uh, having a backlight. And uh, in this case, this one seems to not be having a backlight uh, keyboard. So if you're still comparing the size, or if you still want to know the size, it's 17.9 uh, thickness, and uh, also supports the Bluetooth 5.0 technology, and also the Wi-Fi it connects to uh, 6, Wi-Fi 6 technology, and that's how it is. So let's move on and see the other features that it's having before we conclude. If you were to look at the processor, the processor it carries up to 10th generation Intel Core i7 and uh, that's quite a, a good one if I may say. It has a... Uh... Then also if you were to look at the operating system, this one is entirely... Uh, it's having a Windows 10 operating system but it's also compatible with Windows 11. So if you want to upgrade, you can always upgrade to Windows 11 which is of the latest upgrade. So, uh, when it comes to the display, it has a 14-inch FHD and uh, it's always in full HD and uh, it has IPS technology and it's anti grey so you, it's, it's a good one to, for your eyes, it won't give you or affect you. And if you look, to look at the RAM, if I may open it and show you, the RAM supports, uh, it supports a, a DDR4 type and it's uh, upgrade up to 32 GB or rather 32 gigabytes so you can always upgrade to 32 gigabyte of RAM and uh, if we are to look at the battery it has an internal battery which is inside I'm going to show you how it looks like it's inside and embedded inside and uh, it also charges uh, it goes for up to 12 hours of charging and uh, it supports uh, rapid charge technology which is embedded inside and uh, it can always be good at any point three to if it gives you a charging hour it can always go up to 12 hours of charge time which is half a day of usage without charging or without connecting directly to the power supply or power source so it's quite a good one and when it comes to storage it this one in particular is having a 500 G, uh, 500 gb or rather 500 gigabytes but upgradable up to one terabyte depending on your technology. In case you want to upgrade, you can always go up to one terabyte with the optional dual drive storage, which is embedded inside the laptop itself. On the graphics, on the graphics, it's, it has an integrated Intel uh, UHD embedded inside the system, and uh, it's quite a good one. So for those people who enjoy doing graphics, you can always uh, go in for this one. It can always support you, depending on the level of your work. It's always good for you. And when it comes to security, security-wise, it has a discrete uh, TPM uh, 2.0 already embedded, and it has that provision of up updating or other activate, enabling it and disabling it. Then it also has this, uh, security-wise, it has this uh, Kingston slot, which is supposed to be a lock for, a slot for locking your laptop. And uh, it also has this thing, a thing shutter physical camera or rather web camera that you can always cover at any time. Then it also has the integrated fingerprint reader, which is also at the power button. So it's also advantageous when it comes to security 
uh, being security conscious. So that's how good the laptop is. Now we are going to the answer. Is it good for business? Is it good for programming? Is it good for gaming? Here is the final verdict. Drums rolling. <laughs> Are the Lenovo ThinkPads good for gaming? This is a ThinkPad as well. So is it, is it good for gaming? And the answer would be Lenovo ThinkPads, if I may say this in particular, is good for moderate, moderate gaming, but not heavy gaming or rather heavy duty gaming. If you want to go, if, or if you're looking for a laptop which is good for heavy duty gaming, you can always go for a Lenovo Legion series, which, which has the best gaming laptops. That, that one has the best gaming laptops and the best series if it comes to the Lenovo products or rather the Lenovo, Lenovo laptops. The Legion is always good, but not this one. This one is good for moderate gaming, not heavy duty gaming. Reason being, uh, it, it, it can only be used for light gaming because it uh, it will get hot if you if you do uh, if you do heavy duty gaming it will get hot and that heat will affect the operation of the laptop so it can end up burning or rather end up shutting down or rather end up not starting at all so uh, question answered not good for heavy duty gaming but moderate gaming games which are not all that heavy duty you can always just use it for that Apollo diversity solutions to excellency thanks you for watching see you in the next video in case you have enjoyed this video kindly hit that subscription button we still need you to be part of our following or rather part of our family Apollo diversity solutions to excellency like hit that subscription button hit the like and the notification button to always update you about the new videos that always come up with you.